chores every day, not every week, and have to stand here in the courtyard and say, this is my home, I live up there, my master's there, my dean, I love my college. And I can't say that anymore because it's not a home. It is no longer a safe space for me. And I find that incredibly depressing for the freshmen who are here and who don't know any better, who don't know that this was once a space where I was proud, just what I was proud to be a part of because of this loving community. Because I feel that in your role as master and associate master, after sending that email and after not having an appropriate response, that our opinion has been dismissed. That you guys have not said, I hear you. I hear that you are hurting and I am sorry that I have caused you to feel pain. I have not heard that from you and I have not heard that from your wife. And that is what I want to hear. I don't want to hear any more defensive terms because it's not, it's not fair to us. I'm doing my best, everyone. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, okay? So I'm trying to address her directly and as a human being face to face. And I don't want to turn my back to her. And I don't want to yell at her. I'm this car if I raise my voice so you can hear me. So please stop misjudging anything I do, okay? Just give me a little bit. I'm talking to her now, right? So as I was telling you, I'll speak up a little so I won't, I won't yell at her. Is that fair? That's fair. All right. Okay. All right. So what I wanted to tell you, Michaela, is that you have spent time with me. You've been in class with me. You had all those experiences that you described. And what's amazing to me is despite all of that, you weren't able to form an opinion of me as a human being and what my beliefs are, and to see the extent to which they're in agreement with your beliefs. That you, you, you seem to think that somehow I don't agree with the content of your beliefs. And that's not what's happening from my perspective. From my perspective. I, I don't okay, think you can agree. I, can I, can I say something? Can I, can okay. I just interject really quickly? The moral of Michaela's comment, just now the moral of the story is that she wants an apology. Yet you respond not with that. What that with that's 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 that's, that's, you, that's my point. I'm just saying, you, are you gonna are you gonna I can, can I can okay. I finish? Are you going to address the heart of her comment? That's all I want. Are you gonna give an apology? Are you gonna say that you're hearing us? Are you gonna then go to the lengths that she wants you to go to, which to me don't seem very far, but still seem we're not making a judgment on Master Chris Takis is inherently good like we just want an acknowledgement of hurt and we have yet to get that which we can just say so my question is are you going to say that or not because then i could just leave if you're not going to say that right. <laughs> i've heard from i was at the discussion i was here i'm going to be there on sunday and i'm going to listen but like what i'm listening for i've not yet heard so i'm just asking are you going to yeah. provide that or you're not going to provide that i have to think about the, this idea the, the idea of apologizing but let me ask you this, if I ask you to apologize right now for delaying me from all my other obligations to other students, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, the fact that you ask for an apology doesn't mean that the other person, you know, instantly has to say yes. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, so the person has to think racist. about what it is that you're asking for, okay, what it so means. Then, okay, so then my question is, for what? what? Is the, Tell me what okay, it is. The, 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 for, you okay, okay, my question, okay, if I'm in the courtroom, right, and I'm kicking around a soccer ball, you happen 